Hello, today we're going to be going over molding sand for your foundry. So your sand you use for making your molds. Now it's a really easy thing to mix up and make and it just takes a little bit of practice to get it right. Now the three ingredients of molding sand are quite very simple. We got one, we got sand. This is a silica sand. I get this sand at a hardware store in town and if you cannot find silica sand, you can use regular sand as long as you sift it out and get all the large chunks through a, the finest screen you can possibly find. But uh, a silica sand is very, very fine sand. This is a super fine sand and it has a really good resistance to heat. Now the second thing you will need is bentonite clay. Now bentonite clay is something I get at a farm supply store by now I am no farmer but what I believe bentonite clay is used for is like sealing up like water troughs and stuff for their animals on the farm and the third ingredient is just plain old water now you also need some way or another to weigh your materials out now for a quick little demonstration here, I'm going to do a 10 pound mix. Now that 10 pounds will be 10 pounds of sand and then mixed into that sand, I'm going to do a 10% mix of the clay. So I will be doing one pound of clay to 10 pounds of sand. Now normally I have anywhere from 100 to 200 pounds of sand mixed up at any time and off over on the other side of the shop here I have all that mixed up and maybe we could show that later on so for now I am going to mix up my 10 pounds of, get my 10 pounds of sand weighed out and I am also going to screen it out at the same time I have just a quick and dirty little screen here this is some window screen Now, if you're going to use silica sand, let me give you just one little word of caution. Now, if you've ever heard of a lung, oh, I don't know if you call it an illness, I don't know if you call it a disease, called silicosis. Well, silicosis and silica sand, believe it or not, go hand in hand. Now, silica sand, the dust from it, now rightly you should be using a mask and stuff, but this sand I'm using is actually really, really good and clean. But the dust from silica sand will get into your lungs and it actually kind of acts like glass in your lungs and it will not come out. And it causes a respiratory problem called silicosis. So keep that in mind when using silica sand. X. Now here's my 10 pounds of sand, all weighed out. It's fairly precise. I mean, it doesn't have to be super, super accurate because your sand to clay percentage can have some leeway in it. Now, I'm going by a book by Dave Gendry, his foundry book, and he says anywhere between 7 and 10% clay to sand mix. So I am doing the 10% just to be on the extreme side. So 10 pounds of sand is not very much. So now I'm going to weigh out my pound of clay. One pound of clay. Now I have 10 pounds of sand, one pound of clay. Now one problem with this clay is the stuff I get is in fairly large granules and I've had problems getting this to thoroughly mix in and coat the grains of sand. So that's what you're doing with the clay. You're actually coating each and every little grain of sand so they stick to each other very nice. And so with these large grains it becomes a problem to get it to thoroughly mix. So, I am going to try a little idea.
And here's my idea. Whatever you do, don't tell mom. It's working. Might take a while. So I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes and we'll see what the end result is. All right, that seemed to work pretty good. I got pretty fine powder in there. So I'm going to take that, add it to my sand. Oh, yeah. And then. Mix it in real well by hand. Now, adding water to your sand. Now this, you do not want to get carried away with. I'm going to do just a little at a time. A little bit will go a long ways. Kind of squish it around as it mixes together. Now this type of sand in the foundry business is called a green sand. Now other types of sand you can get are like your oil bonded sands such as your Petrobond is a brand name, I believe, of oil bonded sand. And those, if you can afford them, are absolutely ideal to use, is your oil bonded sands. But they are also more involved when you have to mix them together or in the business, as I say, mold them. As you can see, the sand is still pretty fluffy. It's not super wet. It's not too horribly sticking to my hands. And it's actually it's getting, getting close. Now as you mix, take a handful and give it a squeeze and see if it holds its shape. If it does not, Add just a little more water to your mix. So far I'm very happy with grinding the clay up. I think from now on that is what I'm going to do. Now, now, the sand, I'll take a handful, and it's still, it's still fairly brittle and falls apart. A little more water to it. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Do not get overboard with your water. One more test, give me a handful, give it a squeeze, and it's fairly holding its shape. Try another one. Give it a squeeze, it's holding its shape. Now when you break it, you want to break fairly clean. 
when you get to that point where you can take a handful, give it a squeeze, and it hold its shape, and then break it, and it breaks clean, that's the point you want your sand at. So right here, I'm actually quite happy with. Yes, I will keep mixing this sand and it will be ready to go. I may even mix up another 10 pounds to add to this so I have it. So, recap what we've done. We've taken sand. We've taken 10% of our weight of sand and added that in bentonite clay. Now our 10 pounds of sand here, that was a pound of clay. I ground the play, uh, clay up into a fine powder so it will mix in really well. And then I very slowly added water until the sand starts to pass our little squeeze and break test. Now this might actually need a little bit more water as the clay absorbs it. So. I will keep mixing this up, possibly mix some more up, and in the next video for Founder Friday, I think we may just make us a mold and pour us a casting. So, next Friday, that's what we'll do. So until next time, get out there and just go make it. Thanks for watching. Nice.